So let us now have a look at another very characteristic capability of semantic memory, how the brain can retrieve facts. Once again, we'll use a simplified cortex model and only consider a few areas. For visual processing, we'll think about two areas. An area that detects receptive fields able to discriminate between different types of visual object, and that area passes its receptive field detections to a second area that can discriminate between different types of groups of objects. For auditory processing, we'll just consider an area that can discriminate between different words. And then, an area critical for semantic memory with receptive fields corresponding with groups of columns elsewhere that have, oft that have often been active at the past at the same time. So, what happens when the words capital of France are heard? The word capital results in columns directly activated in the area that discriminates between words. The group of auditory columns result in receptive field detections in the discriminates frequently active groups area. And those columns drive indirect activation of columns in the area that discriminates visual objects. The activity in this area is prolonged and the second word is heard. In response to hearing the second word, auditory columns are directly activated. Once again, there's an indirect activation process leading to a second active population of columns in the visual object area at a different modulation phase from the first population. Activity of both populations in both areas is prolonged while the third word is heard. The third word activates a column population in the auditory words area. There's again an indirect activation process activating a third column population in the discriminates visual objects area. The outputs in those the two areas are brought into the same modulation phase and therefore effectively released to the areas with more complex receptive fields. And that results in receptive field detections in both of these areas. So now there's a lot of receptive fields active at different levels of complexity. Each field will have a wide range of recommendation strengths. But many of them, especially in the more complex areas, will have been active in the past, just before the person said the word Paris, followed by positive feedback. So these columns will have acquired recommendation strengths in favor of saying Paris. Now I'll say much more about the process by which these kinds of recommendation strengths are acquired later in the course. But at this point we can see that without any cortical column or neuron corresponding with any fact, by a complex information process in the cortex, followed by interpretation of the results in the basal ganglia, semantic memory facts can be, can be retrieved.